Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing um, an immigration database system here in the kingdom uh, known as PBIX, or what we call PIBIX, uh, P-I-B-I-C-S, um, which stands for Personal Identification Blacklist Immigration Control System. Um, let me just jump into some of the articles which cite uh, some discussion on this topic, and then we'll get into a little bit of discussion and analysis. So, uh, coming from the article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com, uh, the title is Immigration Police Gear Up for MotoGP Invasion, September 29th, 2018. Um, in a specific, basically the article, and I urge those who are watching this to go ahead and read it, I'm just going to paraphrase some brief uh, talking points on it. Basically, uh, the MotoGP was, was kind of a big event here in Thailand. It resulted in a lot of foreigners coming in from abroad. Um, for that reason, they went ahead and implemented um, certain, for lack of a better term, uh, proactive immigration measures. And one of those noted, uh, to quote directly from that article, the Immigration Bureau's personal identification blacklist immigration control system will be up and running at the airport to try and identify criminal suspects who may try to sneak in. Um, so basically, clearly immigration has begun implementing um, heightened uh, security and monitoring mechanisms on Farang and on pretty much anybody that's going to be passing through immigration checkpoints here in the kingdom. Uh, to take this a little bit further, uh, another article again from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com, October 9th, 2018. Article is entitled, Airport Officers Transferred Over Bribes. There was another note which stated, Lieutenant General Kong Jeep added, the Foreign Nationals Identity Database has to be integrated with the immigration airports um, to help identify more quickly those who might pose as a threat to national security. So again, there's this database uh, it's primarily being used for immigration purposes. Well, it's primarily being pur used for purposes of identification, uh, but it's being linked into the immigration database more and more. In another article from the, the Nation, that's nationmultimedia.com, this was published quite a, way, quite a long time ago, February 1st, 2016. Uh, the uh, article is entitled, New Immigration Screening System Unveiled. And going into this a little bit further, uh, there's another video specifically on this topic on this website. It discusses the app system, APPS, uh, but we're specifically looking at the PBIC system. Um, to quote directly from this article, the system is being used alongside other security tools, including the personal identification blacklist immigration control system, the case management intelligence system, CCTV surveillance, and the crime system. Crimes is spelled in all capital letters. That means that's an um, acronym. This is kind of the important point. All of these systems are operated and monitored by the Immigration 24-7 Center, which aims to be the hub of Thailand's immigration procedures to help improve national security. The Immigration Center at Suwon Plu's Immigration Division 1 will have officers monitoring income, incoming data 24 hours a day. Okay, what's going on here? Well, first of all, they are creating a database which specifically deals with those who are blacklisted or those who prospectively would become blacklisted. Um, there's another program called the App System, which I go into at length in another video on this channel. Uh, but those who are watching this one, um, note further, this database is not being set up as a standalone. It is being integrated into the immigration system. And for this reason, those who have previously overstayed visas those who've been blacklisted, even those who have prior criminal records in the kingdom probably are going to have that in information more and more integrated into the immigration system. So it's probably a safer bet as time goes by that even case, you know, folks with issues that are rather old, that they may have sort of thought had fallen by the wayside, if you will, these could come roaring back to life uh, in an immigration context through these identity database systems, which are being integrated um, into the overall immigration uh, system. So the other thing that I think is going to happen as a result of this is 
adjudicating immigration officers at port of entries in the Kingdom of Thailand, for example, airports, seaports, um, land checkpoints over land borders here in the Kingdom, those officers are more and more going to have an integrated database at their fingertips when adjudicating the entry of a foreign national to go ahead and make a determination as to whether or not that foreign national should be admitted to the Kingdom of Thailand. Those with possible criminal histories, those with possible arrest histories, those with possible immigration violations in the past, um, you've been warned these systems are being brought online and it's possible that you're gonna go ahead and see them uh, implemented at border checkpoints in the relatively near future. How this is gonna exactly play out remains to be seen, but it's clear from the MotoGP um, event, uh, immigration is bringing this out uh, more and more proactively, and I think we're gonna see it integrated into the general system probably within the next three to five years. It's just gonna be part and parcel of how they go ahead and adjudicate those incoming into the Kingdom of Thailand.